Hello, guys, and welcome to the Wings Mobile Detailing Podcast. My name is Andre, and today I'm recording also a video on YouTube under Wings Mobile Detailing. You guys can watch this podcast on YouTube or listen to it on iTunes, on the Spotify, Google Play, wherever it's easier for you guys. Today I'm talking on the topic of auto detailing on building your van. Uh, recently, about a week ago, we just posted a video of showing our Wings Mobile Detailing company vehicle, the van inside, water tank, there's a generator there, all fit in into one small Ford Transit. We don't have any, t we do have a cargo van, which is a bigger sized van, but Ford Transits, uh, it's our favorites. We can fit everything inside. It's simple, but effective. Small, not a lot of things, but it's still effective. Guys, uh, just before we start, uh, as you guys are starting your own business as well, this is going to be a very helpful podcast for you guys to subscribe to. Uh, and please do, if you're starting or growing, you're looking to grow your existing auto detailing business or mobile detailing, please do subscribe to this podcast as this will be very helpful. We're going to talk about not motivation. We're going to talk about technical things, how to open a business, simple things to the most complex. And... There is an academy course that you guys can take into growing your business into a six-figure step-by-step blueprint. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe as you hear uh, how to get on that. But today, I, I actually don't want to focus on that. I want to focus on... Welcome to the Wings Mobile Detailing Business and Automotive Podcast, the only podcast that will guide you on how to start and grow six-figure companies. All right, guys, so building your... Fort Transit Vents, what materials to buy. I'm going to create a podcast on what products, what the best products are to buy. We even have videos on YouTube if you haven't already seen it. Uh, but how do we set up our detailing vents? And for you guys who are on iTunes, check out the YouTube channel once again. First, guys, we like to keep things simple and minimal. And all the detailing, uh, when you're doing a service such like polishing, a vehicle uh, doing compound or polish offering those types of services uh, such as you know the pain correction services you can in one vehicle do a certain setup of pads and a certain setup of compound and polish whereas in another vehicle you can do a different setup so should you carry all of those pads uh, that you would use for BMW for a Honda, for a Toyota that has a more more soft paint, uh, should you carry all of those arsenal of pads? Imagine if you would. Imagine if you're in a mobile business and you and your plan is to train people to grow your business, and you're carrying all these pads just for the one service itself. But imagine if for each service you were to carry a bunch of different materials that you can think of in your van. You need to buy a bus, <laughs> and it wouldn't be effective. You wouldn't be able to train people. So it's very important, guys, that when you set up your services, that you actually get products and supplies and equipments that are very effective. And this is the best way uh, as far as, you know, let's say, let's give an example of you're doing a polish treatment on a vehicle. And then you do another one, and the combination of pad work well. But if you get a different combination, it might work even better. But you don't want to keep the two combinations of pads inside your vehicle. You don't want to keep four different types of, um, or 20, 30, 50 different types of pads so that you can account for all vehicle situation. Get one. Get one setup. That's how we like to do. That's And guys, this is the way for you to be able to delegate the tasks. For you to be able to hire employees and let them go on their own. You don't want a lot of things because they're they're not going to know your setup. You know everything. If you're a solopreneur, meaning uh, if you're going by yourself only and that's your plan for not growing the business much, uh, fine. Then perhaps you can have all sorts of products, all sorts of pads in the van um, and you know, everything with you because you're probably going to know where everything is. But if you're growing your business, that might not work for obvious reasons. You know, they are not even going to know where the things are. Uh, and maybe they are not trained enough to know. They're not trained enough with each single pad. You know that certain 
product work on that car because you've done it before. Maybe the other guy doesn't have experience. Heck, maybe I don't have that experience as a detailer. So maybe you're the only one who saw that. That would be so it, it wouldn't work to have all of those equipments. But what do we do inside the van? We like to carry. And I'm going to go over the list what we like to carry inside our vans, guys. Uh, if you guys like to learn more on exactly the steps of how to build the van, how to set it up, everything, and which products overall, like a complete list and why that list. Uh, there is a detailing academy as well, which is very, very uh, incredible for you guys who are starting the business. If you like to be part of it, it's the only program that combines detailing and business. If you're looking, if you're growing your business now and you're expand your business big, knowledge is the way to go. You need to know how to do it. Otherwise, you're going to learn the hard way through experience. Yes, it's good to learn through your own experiences. But what happens when you learn through experience on your own? You bump your head. It hurts. It hurts a lot. So, guys, I'll give you step by step of how to grow the business and continue to expand into multiple vans. Uh, so you, you can know more about this. But in our van, we like to keep the four transits with a 55 gallon water tank. Why 55 gallon? Because uh, we can get a bigger, but then we wouldn't have space for the other things. And it's a vertical. It's not a horizontal. It's a vertical water tank that we have in the van because that's a nice way to fit in between the two side doors we fit a 55 sized gallon water tank in a ford transit and it occupies not a lot of space believe me or not in between the side doors not even the back there is a two side doors in between those doors of the ford transit uh, you can fit a, a 55 gallon water tank and you can fit a generator on the side of it and there's all the back, all the way in the back, you have all that to keep all your equipment, supplies, products, and everything that you need for an effective detailer. If you're a type of detailer who keeps everything in the van, maybe you're working by yourself, then the route of getting a bigger van might be better. You're going to spend more money. Um, and you're the only, but you know, since you know where everything is, you might be able to keep more, you might want to keep more stuff for you. You don't have to, but if you want to because you're by yourself, then go ahead and get a bigger van. Then on the back, you have space for everything, guys. We It's pretty awesome, like, the way it's set up because then we have in the back, you know, the vacuum cleaner. Uh, we like to use the rigid vacuum cleaner from Home Depot, uh, a electric pressure washer. Uh, those things, they break very often. I got a multitude of different brands. Gas pressure washers are good, but... There's no escaping into them breaking. Uh, maybe we use it incorrectly, but uh, obviously there are better ways to use it. Maybe I could use um, maybe I could put the winter saver there, the little liquid. That would be better. But and then we discard them. We have to buy new ones. But still, we gotta fit a pressure washer there, a vacuum cleaner, all the products. We have an extension cord. Because every time we pull the extension cord out from the van and connect to the client's house or to our own generator. So it's a big extension cord in a bucket. Love that thing. And you can watch it on the YouTube video under Wings Mobile Detailing um, to see exactly, <laughs> to actually see the van, visualize it. Um, and then as far as the product goes in the van, we have two side shelves. One of our Ford Transit vans, they have an actual cater rack. They're called cater rack shelvings, which there are three, or you can have four or five, but there are three shelves that you can pull it completely out from the van. It's like a sliding shelves. And there on the first shelf below, I'll put the equipments, vacuum cleaner, steamer. We also have a steamer from McGalloc. They break also. Uh, a pressure washer on the first shelf. On the second shelf, we would put two buckets, one with the clean towels, and one the dirty towels. All the spray products we put in the second shelf. And on the third shelf, other, you know, buffing equipments and everything separated. But on the vents that you usually buy, the Fort Transit vents, they usually, it's nice that you buy them. That's why it's nice to get used because a lot of used Fort Transit vents already comes with the side shelves on each side. 
uh, so you can take advantage of that. On the middle, you'll put the equipments, steamer, vacuum cleaner, pressure washer, extension book uh, cord. Uh, the hoses, we like to keep two hoses, one that's already connected to the tank and one that's loose, just for you to grab and connect to, connect to the client's house. You can use one hose, but uh, then you have to unplug from your tank and you connect to the client's house. Or with one breaks, you're not going to have an extra one. So it's nice to have two water hoses. Besides, you detail cars, you know, it's one of the most important things. Without a hose, you can't do anything. Uh, in the middle of the between two shelves in the middle, that's where we put those equipments and then on the side on the right side of the shelves we have the clean towels and dirty towels in between we put either in a bag in between the shelves or if they're drawers sometimes there are drawers on the side shelves and we can put those towels there it usually don't fit actually it has to be in the actual shelf cuz the drawers you we use the drawers to put uh, the buffer the buffing pads and how many buffing pads do we carry? We carry three buffing pads. Uh, three different types. We can carry two for each, but two different types of of buffing pads. And we carry three types. One type is to do a compound, and then the second stage. If we if we were doing full pin correction, then we have it there. But a lot of times we don't, we barely, we rarely use those pads because we have our team mostly mostly doing one step of polish. And for one step of polish, we always have only one pad, one type of pad. Uh, so that's it. For one step of polish, that's the service we do. We have one type of pad. We like the orange pad. Usually they are medium cut and finish well. And we don't have a lot of different pads for using different cars. No, it's one pad for polish, the machine polish. Um, we have gloves there, you know, miscellaneous stuff. And the clean towels, dirty towels, the buffing, the headlight restoration kit, along with a pink correction drawer. So we like to separate the pink correction drawer. And inside of that, we like to put the pads and the pink correction sending discs and the small, the small buffing 3-inch buffing pad that we use with the drill we also have a drill only for headlight restoration that we have the drill to do the final stage of compound wet sending we like to do wet sending by hand for headlight and then on the other drawer we have some air fresheners and um some cards and gloves let's say the dry stuff and then on one of the shelves we like to have a small basket where we'll put the wet stuff meaning clay bar you know the clay mitt the brushes brush for leather when we do leather shampoo or for carpet brush a wheel brush even and yeah and that's it and then on then on the top we have the products we have the gallon size to fill up each sprayer when they run out of products on the sprayers and the sprayers Guys, it's very simple. With this setup, you can do every service. Tell me a service you cannot do besides ceramic coating. Because you don't do ceramic coating every day, especially mobile. So besides ceramic coating, tell me a service you can't do with this setup. You can do every single service in mobile detailing. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about mobile detailing. Not window tinting um, and all paint touch-up. You know, that's not... Usually, it's a, it's out of mobile detailing slash car wash services. Uh, and this way is very effective, guys. Um, for the VIN, for example, tracking systems for the VIN. And on this academy, when you guys reach out to me, I'll give you all the information to be to acquire and get on this program. It's like a, a, a detailing business course. You guys can learn everything. From that to the most complex of business thing, but this is an auto detailing topic. We we have a tracking system for the vents. For when you have employees, you can have a tracking, know where the vent is, the gas that you're spending and everything. Guys, that's very, you need these things, you know? And, uh, and with this tracking systems, when you guys learn on the academy, when you guys learn how to do the taxes, to save money on taxes as well, you need to track where the VIN is, point A to point B. You probably heard that with your CPA. So on this tracking thing device that's connected to your VIN, 
it also tracks point A to point B for when you do the taxes. And one more thing that you guys would know what to use is preparing your van for the winter. This is a very complex matter, especially for you know mobile detailing where you don't have a place to store your van in a warm place. Preparing your van for the winter is more complex. What what can you save? What don't you save? Do you warm up the entire water tank, but then all the products are still frozen? Guys, that's another way. We like to actually cover with the fiberglass uh, she, um, the things that warm up the house. You can buy a Home Depot. But it's a fiber fiberglass sheet that you can actually cover. It's a cover that you can cover and wrap the tank completely. And the water pump that comes from the tank. Uh, in regards to the products, you can put a gas heater inside the van. Uh, this is one of the only ways. An electric heater won't... They usually don't have a good enough electric heater. And if you put away electric heater, it might work. But then it has to be connected inside a house. So there is a way. There is a way, and guys, uh, this is a more complex matter that deserves a different podcast, but it is in the academy as well. You guys learn everything about business, not only the business side, but also on this side, on the academy, which is the detailing side. The business side is a complete separate course, but it's included when you guys purchase uh, on the Mizalira Academy. Um, and it's going to be in the description soon for this next podcast. I'm going to talk more about it. Guys, uh, this is it. This is a small, tr you know, trick, but please watch the YouTube channel under Wings Mobile Detailing and you guys will check out and see the our, our van, how it's set up. Uh, we'll talk more about logos as well. And thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast. Subscribe to YouTube when you go there. If you're there already, subscribe to iTunes on your iPhone.